My name is Ellen from Cabat Cisneros. The collection is international. It has, it's been divided in two focus, like uh, geometric abstraction from Latin America, which is one of the most important parts of the collection. Then there is a photography and video part. And of course, international uh, other media like installations and uh, well, when I finished, when I started collecting, I really was all in a different mood. He was a Venezuelan painter, and I might remember, I mean, it was Boldin, which was uh, an old uh, classic from Venezuela. And then uh, eventually, it was so many years ago, it changed, the, the collection changed, my taste changed, I searched a lot, and, and it made a completely different uh, way of collecting right now. I, I think uh, if I look back, maybe that's so far away that I cannot even remember some of the things that I did. But I think the best way is to come to Cuba, <laughs> because there are many uh, artists and fantastic artists. Cuba is really very proliferous in art. And there are some which are very good, that are international and that stay, you know, that live outside Cuba too like those Carpintero, Caracol, sí. Linda Leon, some others, and they go back and forth to Cuba. But there are so many that I think even if you get a publication or a missile, I think this is the time to go to Cuba, to Havana, and then look for yourself, you know. And of course, there are various artists that I can recommend, like Daniel Francisco Rodriguez, which is a, a, one of the main characters in the art scene there. There's also a, Felipe Lucides, there is a young artist like uh, Glenda Leon, Joan Capote, Ivan Capote, um, Campins. There are many, so many. I mean, I, I wish I, I had to, a way of you know, writing something. Maybe we would, and of course, I have a very close relationship with the curator of the foundation, even though that, you know, I, I do. You know, we call you know him. I call him to know you know if there's a new artist that I haven't seen, and, and if there is a research to be done in somebody that I like. So we are very close to the curator, and we are very close. And the director, of course, we have also at the at the foundation we have a practice in which we tend to bring different curators at different times, uh, depending on the project. So if we have a project. Uh, on December with the collection that we, we uh, hire, we call from a curator you know, from around the world to come and see the collection and then from there of course we pick up a lot of, of things from him. Uh, before I just, I had some old foundation who dealt with uh, children on the streets and with uh, hospitals in Venezuela and at the UN with a uh, foundation. So philanthropy has always been part of, of me, of who I am. And of course, passionate as I am about art, I thought I could do also that same thing with, with the arts. So then I decided to start the foundation when we left Venezuela. And we started you know, living outside Venezuela, I started thinking about it and my children live in the US. My daughters and my grandchildren are American, so I thought this is the only I mean this is a venue we can start there when we need it. And that's why I started. And I think you know philanthropy sometimes is not engraved in our Latin American blood because we haven't it's not like the Americans or the American people who are taught since they are in school that philanthropy is part of their life. For us in Latin America, it's a little bit slow, you know. We're not used to, to this, uh, this thing of giving. And so for our artists, it's very, very important that people think about how to help them. And not only help them in their country or help them do the work they have to do. Many doesn't have the means to go out of their countries or to be in the international scene because they don't have the means. So that's what we do. We try to help them, you know, get out of their regional part to become part of the international award, you know, awareness of, 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 of. Oh, yes, there are many things. For example, 
I found out that there was a concrete movement in, in Cuba in the 50s. And when I started looking at these works of art, I thought this is very similar to the you know, concrete of Brazil. And I do have a lot of, of the artists from here, from Brazil. So I, I looked at them and I started seeing the resemblance in between some works of Solo Loloso de Villa and Elio de Sica. Or uh, even, you know, Sandu Darier and some of the um, works of Lydia Clark. So I, there are lots of resemblances. Not only that, I think that uh, even with the, you know, today, the contemporary, very contemporary art, there's a lot of similarities. I think the Cubans and the Brazilians, for example, the Carioca, they're very, very similar, you know, in, in, uh, in the taste, in, in character, in music. There's a lot of similarities in between Cuba and Brazil.